I died two hours before the wedding with the woman of my life, Paloma. Everything was ready for the ceremony, and I was filled with excitement as I prepared a special surprise for her. Little did I know that this would be the last gesture of love I could offer my beloved before fate tragically separated us. My fiancé's phone rang, and she, with eyes full of expectation, believed it was me calling to wish her good luck, as many newlyweds do before the wedding. But in fact, it was the serious voice of police officers on the other end of the line. Hello. They had arrived at the scene of a terrible traffic accident, and my cell phone with Paloma's name on it was in my hands. Hello. Is this Miss Paloma Ismaili? Yes, it's me. What happened? I deeply regret to inform you that there was an accident. No, it Her can't fiance, be true. Carlos Adriel, suffered a serious motorcycle Please accident. Tell me it's not true. No, Carlos, my love. How could this happen? I'm sorry, miss. He couldn't resist Please his tell injuries. Tell me it's not true. We're doing our best to find the person responsible. We were about to get married, build our lives together. That's how she got the devastating news that the wedding we'd been looking forward to was not going to happen anymore because I was dead. At that moment, I was on my way to our future home, rose petals carefully packed in my backpack to scatter on the bed as part of my surprise for Paloma. The big day, our wedding day, was the culmination of our hopes and dreams, but cruelly, just two hours before we walked down the aisle together, everything came crashing down. I was without a helmet at the time of the collision, and could not survive until help arrived. On the day we were supposed to leave for our honeymoon, Paloma was forced to attend my funeral. We shared a journey from adolescence and spent eight long months planning our wedding. But, as life often demonstrates, fate had other plans for us. The pain of loss is overwhelming, and memories of that fateful day still haunt Paloma's thoughts. I, Ishmael, left too soon, but my memory will live forever in her heart.